Hello everybody. Today let us discuss B star trees. B star trees are also extension to the B trees. If we can recall what B trees are, B trees are multi-level indexed search fully balanced trees in which all the leaves will be at the same level. And also if we can look at the B trees very carefully, B trees are multi-way search trees in which they can have m number of search paths, m number of descendants and the maximum number of search paths or the descendants that a B-tree node can have is called as the order of the B-tree. Also, a B-tree requires that each node has a minimum number of descendants that is a B-tree node must have at least m by 2 number of descendants. What does this mean? If the order of the B-tree is 100, then B-tree can have a maximum of 100 descendants and it should have a minimum of 50 number of descendants. So therefore, because of this what happens is the depth of the B tree will remain very shallow. The B tree doesn't grow too deep very quickly. Now if we take even in practical examples, if the order of the B tree is just 512, if we take a B tree of order 512, it can have a minimum of 256 descendants. So at the root node, if a node has 256 descendants, each one of these 256 descendants can have 256 keys more. So therefore, until each one of these blocks will have a maximum of 256 keys each, the B tree doesn't grow to the next level. That is, it will remain at level number one. And to go to level number two, each one of the 256 nodes in the first level must have 256 keys each. So therefore, B trees are a very powerful search trees in which the random access will be very, very efficient. Since the depth of the B tree grows very slowly, efficiency will be very, very high. And you can imagine when it goes to level two. So there are 256 nodes in level number one. Each one of them can have 256 each descendants, minimum, minimum, okay? They can have a maximum of 512 descendants. So when they have 512 descend uh, number of keys, they will have 512 number of descendants. So therefore, at the second level, in the worst case, each one of the nodes has 256 descendants and each one of those nodes can accommodate up to 256 keys. So therefore, it will be very, very late for the tree to grow to a depth of 4, 5, so on and so forth. So therefore, B trees are very efficient search trees for random access. Influenced by this, Nuth proposed what are called as B plus trees. So Nuth just improved the number of a minimum number of descendants that a B tree can have, and thereby he came across what is called as a B star tree. All other properties of B trees and B star trees are same except for one property that is Nuth requires that a node of a B tree be two thirds full instead of half full. In a B tree, each node of the B tree must at least be half full, that is, m by 2 number of descendants. If the order is m, each node should have m by 2 number of descendants. Nuth requires that each node except the root node and the leaf node that is there in the B trees also have at least two thirds the order of the B tree, 2 by 3 m number of keys. So thereby what happens is the splitting will be postponed further. Okay. So in a B tree, since the uh, uh, nodes can have only m by 2 number of de uh, descendants, the splitting happens quite uh, quickly and in B star trees, the minimum number of keys required is two thirds. So therefore, the splitting can be postponed and memory utilization will be much more efficient. So that was the idea of B star trees. Okay. So now what happens? Practically when we try to implement B star trees, what happens? So uh, there will be a node, we will start from the root node. Okay, and let us assume the order of the B tree is 100. Okay, so you keep on inserting keys into this particular node. So the node keeps on getting filled and finally the node gets full, uh, filled, let us assume. There are 100 keys in this particular node. So now is the time for us to split the node. In a B tree, since this has 100 keys, we will split it into two nodes, each of which consists of 50 keys each. But in B star tree, each one of the nodes must have two thirds the number of keys. Okay, so now two thirds of 100 is 66. If one of them has 66, the other one can't have 66. It can have only 34 number of keys. Therefore, we can't perform a split like we perform in a B tree. So therefore, Knuth suggested what is called as a two to three split when a node overflows. In a B tree, we perform what is called as a one to two split. So what is this one to two split? 
there is one node which is full and, <coughs> and you divide this node into two nodes each of which consists of half the number of keys m by 2 m by 2 number of keys so that is one node gets split into two therefore it is called as a one two two split now since in a b star tree we can't have two nodes each of which will have two thirds the number of um, keys Null suggests what is called as a 2 to 3 split. So, what do you mean by 2 to 3 split? In 2 to 3 split, when one of the node overflows, you can't perform a split operation. So, there should be two nodes adjacent to each other, both of which will become full. Okay. So now let us assume you keep inserting keys to this node, this node gets full, and this node also gets filled. Now when you are trying to insert a new key into either this node or this node, both of them are full and both of them can't accommodate. So at this point of time, node suggests take these both nodes, two nodes and split, break it into three pieces. Okay. So you will have three pieces, each one of them having two thirds keys. Okay, so therefore now this node has 100 keys, this node has 100 keys, totally they have 200 keys. When you divide 200 by 3, each one of them will have 66 keys. Okay, 66, 67, 67, so on and so forth. So one of them will have 66 and the other two uh, nodes will have 67 keys. So thereby each one of them are two thirds full. So therefore, whenever you are searching for a key, the probability that the search will be successful will be more because there are more number of keys in the same node earlier in a B tree. In the worst case, it would have only half the number of keys, one by two number of keys, 50 keys. Now 16 more keys must be present in any one of the node for existence. Therefore, the hit ratio will improve. So thereby, Nuth, um, uh, suggested that instead of performing a 1 to 2 split, we will perform a 2 to 3 split. Therefore, each node will have more number of keys and the uh, success, the, the probability of success will be more. Okay. Now, few more things we need to address before we complete the discussion about B star trace. That is, first thing is, now when a node gets full, when a node overflows in a B tree, we are going to split immediately. Now, if a node uh, gets filled in a B star tree, what are you going to do because you need that neighboring node also to be completely full. So for that, Nuth suggests that you can handle overflow using redistribution until two siblings become completely full. What do we mean by that? Now say suppose initially this node has 66 keys let us assume and this has say some 67 keys you keep inserting keys randomly into these blocks okay now this has 90 keys and this gets 100 keys let us assume okay now you are going to insert one more key into this particular block now in a b tree what we do is we split it into two halves each one of them with 50 keys that's what we told there the search efficiency may be slightly less because the hit ratio will be only 50% because there are only 50 keys. Here we want more number of keys to be present in a node. Therefore, whenever you come to a node, there are the probability that you, your search will be successful will be more. So, node suggests that you don't split it. Now, what should I do with that extra key that comes into this particular block? So, node tells you redistribute. So, when we redistribute, some number of keys from this block are given to this block. How many number of keys can be given from this block to this block? That depends upon the minimum number of keys that can be given to a maximum number of keys that can be given. So maximum it can give say, um, keeping 67 keys it can give 23 keys. So it can give a maximum of 23 keys or a minimum of one key because if it gives one key this node will not overflow. Okay. So therefore in between this any number of keys can be redistributed. So maybe let us assume it gives five keys. So here it becomes nine, uh, 95 and here it becomes 96. So therefore there will be probability of insertion into both the nodes equally okay again you keep inserting again this node becomes 100 let us assume this is 96 now you try to insert to this again you redistribute so when you redistribute this becomes 98 this also becomes 98 then at some point of time this will be 100 one of them will be 99 you insert now this is 100 now both of them are 100 this is how you have to handle insertions is what nodes suggest okay and now when you insert a key to any one of these nodes 
both of them are full therefore you can't redistribute at this time you are going to split so splitting will be done only when it is not possible to redistribute and when you split you, you perform a 2 to 3 split and thereby we get three nodes each of which have two thirds number of keys like we took an example and saw it okay so everything is fine but there are still some draw a serious problems with b star trees um, when we try to implement it what are those drawbacks see the first major drawback is we know even in a b tree the root node can have only two descendants even though the minimum number of descendants that a node can have is m by 2 there is a relaxation for the root which can have only two descendants because when you have say 100 keys and split it into two it is possible for you to have only two descendants you can't have 50 number of descendants straight away so therefore there is a relaxation for the root that it can have only two descendants but now even with a two to three split first thing is when the root grows there is no sibling to the root so now since nuth suggests you perform a 2 to 3 split how are we going to perform a 2 to 3 split to the root so that each one of them can have 2 by 3 number of descendants so that is one of the major drawbacks okay any of nuth has suggested some solutions for that two two solutions are suggested one solution is allow the root node to grow bigger than whatever is the size of all other nodes in the Uh, 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 b star tree so therefore if the order of the b star tree is 100 this node grows to a size of 100 this grows to a size of 100 but this grows to a size greater than 100 also so we need to allow this to grow to a size greater than 100 so what is that greater size as, as big as when we split it into two it should give rise to two nodes of two third number of keys that is 66 plus 66 okay so 132 number of keys so the root node should be allowed to grow to a size of 132 so what does it mean a root node will not split when the number of keys is equal to the order of the b tree that is m number of keys so that is uh, from the implementation point of view this becomes slightly difficult because you need to differentiate between what is a root node and what, uh, other nodes because uh, other nodes have to um, other nodes overflow when the number of keys is equal to m but a root node will not overflow even when the number of keys is equal to m and it will overflow only when it goes beyond 132 that is one problem okay it can be implemented but it, it is not as efficient as it is in a bitry where in a in a bitry everything is uniform other solution that was suggested by nuth was we will allow all the other nodes in the b tree to have a minimum of two third number of descendants but let the root have m by 2 number of descendants that is half the number of descendants means when the root is split into two here the root node doesn't grow bigger than all other nodes in the in the tree it will also grow up to 100 so 100 overflows 101th key overflows at that point of time you are going to split the node into two pieces wherein each one of them will have only m by 2 number of descendants that is 50 50 descendants so once again from the implementation point of view it is difficult because the algorithm has to keep track of this particular node is a descendant of root therefore even though it has keys lesser than or equal to 66 it doesn't underflow and if a node is not a child of a root node then it should have a minimum of uh, 66 number of keys um, otherwise it will underflow so from the implementation point of view these issues are there anyways these are the two solutions that are suggested okay uh, anyways even though uh, theoretically b star trees uh, uh, um, guarantee or promise a very high probability of uh, uh, search Uh, because each nodes will be two thirds uh, full from the implementation point of view it has few drawbacks and therefore b star trees are not that widely used as b trees thank you